House lawmakers appealed to the leader of a religious group, Apollo Kibuloy, after he spoke out and accused the Philippine government of colluding with the United States to have him captured and allegedly killed. House Solons also criticized his statements against the female victims allegedly abused by Kibuloy. Pero alam ko March 12. Uh, Bagkita-kita na lang po tayo ni uh, Pastor Kibuloy sa March 12. Humarap siya sa Kongreso, humarap siya sa Senado, lalo na sa mga pagtinig, pagdinig kaugnay ng mga kasong ito. According to Kibuloy, he is allegedly being pursued by women because of his wealth. Ako po ay hindi nag-asawa. Ngayon, ninaakusahan ako ng napakaraming babae. O, ito po ang kasalanan ko. Pinayaman ako ng Panginoon Diyos sa kala nila sa akin. Single ako, kaya pinag-aagawan ako. Pagkatapos na ako ay maghihindi, mapapahiya, ibabaligtad nila sa akin. Harapin mo yung accountability mo, um, Pastor Kibuloy, uh, with your respect. No? Wag, mong, wag, wag ka masyadong filingero na hinahabol ka ng mga kababaihan at pinagmamalaki mo yung, uh, yung kayamanan. Diba? So, yun po. Um, ano to, no? uh, most wanted FBI. Na, <laughs> ng FBI ito. Kibuloy is under the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation or FBI's most wanted list for purportedly conspiring in sex trafficking through force, fraud and coercion, trafficking of minors as well as smuggling large sums of money. Meanwhile, he also faces various cases in California, USA for similar complaints. House Assistant Minority Leader Gabriela Women's Partners Representative Arlene Brosas encouraged Kibuloy's victims to speak up and come forward. Naiintindihan at nauunawaan namin na hindi ganun kadali na lumabas ang mga biktima. But of course, we are actually um, enjoining them. Uh, Inihikaya namin sila na lumabas at magsalita. Both the Senate and the House of Representatives have sent subpoenas to Kibuloy for him to attend the hearings regarding allegations of abuse such as physical and sexual abuse and human trafficking, as well as accusations of franchise violations of SMNI where he is an honorary chairperson. House Deputy Majority Leader Tingog Partless Representative Jude Asidre encouraged Kibuloy to face the hearings and respect the legal processes. On the House, we will implement the law if he does not if he does not appear then we will be constrained to execute the subpoena and make sure that he is here to answer the questions and issues raised against him now i don't think being an appointed son of god puts you above the law and i'm sure no one is above the law Meanwhile, House Speaker Martin Romualdez dismissed Kibuloy's allegations against the administration of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. According to Kibuloy, the President and First Lady Lisa Araneta Marcos have conspired to hand him over to USA. According to House leadership, they are committed to upholding the rule of law and ensuring safety and security for all individuals. Furthermore, he claims that the allegations of conspiracy against them are meant to divert attention from serious legal issues. Rosa Ligoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.